What is going on guys, this is your boy Astrum Sensei and welcome to my Unreal Engine Beginner's Guide, a series of short videos where we cover almost every single blueprint node and function that you need. The link to this series playlist can be found in the description so that you can check out all of these quick guides in the intended order. Not that order is a very important thing, but I've made sure to make them in a more correct order so that you can learn blueprints and Unreal Engine gradually. If you'd like to support the series and the channel do not hesitate to hit the like button and smash the subscribe button as well as turn on the notification bell in order to know right when i upload a video and with that out of the way let us get started so in this part we are going to be taking a quick look at blueprint actors several ways you can use them and what to know before you begin coding your own game using blueprints so first of all, I have created an empty project in Unreal Engine. It is a third person template and I just haven't adjusted anything in it. So this is Unreal Engine 5. However, I think that you can also follow the series in Unreal Engine 4. It doesn't really matter. Things are going to look a little bit different, but no worries about that. Anyway, we are going to open the content drawer and dock it in the layout. And over here in the content folder, we have the third person BP folder, blueprints. This is where our blueprints are located. So there are many, many types of blueprint actors and blueprints are basically scripts. They are code that you can use in multiple ways in your game. And in Unreal Engine, it's not really like Unity where you have only one type of script and it changes depending on how you code it. In Unreal Engine, you you have like several, like many types of blueprint actors. So we are only going to check out two for now. So let's go and right click. And over here, you have blueprint class. You can click that. And as you can see, we have many, many types of actors. Now, the two types that you want to remember right now are actor and character. The actor is something that you can interact with in your world, like most commonly. For example, doors, light switches, lamps that you can turn on and off, something that you can press to make sound, basically anything that you can like use the player to interact with. And the character is the actual playable character. It has a mesh and this mesh is like animated and you can control it. So yeah, it's an actor that you can actually possess. Even non-playable characters are characters, but we'll get back to this one in the characters part. So for now, we are going to be covering normal actors. So we are going to open that and we are just going to call it BP underscore actor. So this is our blueprint actor. And once you open it, you should be able to see this. This is what the viewport is. This is what your character looks like. And currently there is nothing but this scene component. Scene components, you just don't want to know them now. But yeah, this is the character, uh, like the actor, sorry. And um, over here is the components tab. So for example, let us add a static mesh so that we have a visual representation of our blueprint actor. So go over here, press add, and we are just gonna add a static mesh. So over here in the components, once you wanna add something, there are many, many types of stuff. You can add lights, you can add uh, skeletal meshes, which are characters, static meshes, which are environment models, plane, sphere, cube, and many, many other things. It doesn't even have to be meshes. There are many, many things that you can add, but yeah, you'll learn that later. For now, this is what you want to know, the static mesh. The static mesh, you can go over here to the details panel, and in all blueprints, there is a details panel. The details panel usually has all of the settings for each thing that you select. For example, if we add another component, which is a cube. Now we have a cube and a static mesh. And if you notice the details panel actually changes and that is because, um, it has like every single thing has details and you can just change it, change them. So another name for the details panel might be the settings panel. I think that would be a little less complicated. So anyway, I'm going to select the cube and I'm going to delete it. And we have the static mesh over here, go over here, 
on static mesh and just choose any any random thing bounding box corner we can go over here to scale and we can change the scale to 10 for all of them so in x y and z it's going to be the scale of 10 and as you may see it's now much much bigger we also have location and rotation we do not want to change that and yeah now that our actor has a visual representation we can actually now drag it into our game and take a look at what it looks like so i'm just gonna put it over here and press play and now this blueprint actor has the static mesh which is this one but this static mesh actually looks weird so we're gonna have to change that we can just go here go with the let's just go with the standard cube and switch the scale back to normal so you can just hit this button to reset the property and compile and now if you minimize this you can take a look and see that your blueprint actor is now the cube so this cube when you press play now it's in your game and i know it's just like a static mesh but we're gonna be checking out what you can do for example with this for example you can just um go and do something for example you can add a point light having a point light with a mesh is actually a time saver for example for lamps if you have a lamp you can just create a blueprint actor and add both the mesh and the point light and that way when you put it in your level you do not have to like put a point light over every single lamp and that way you will have it much much easier so that you can only like you just have to import the blueprint actor so anyway we added the point light and we dragged it up let's just increase the intensity to the max and make it a purple light maybe move it a little bit like this and compile now if you go back to your game you should be able to see that the blueprint actor actually comes with a point light and this is like one of the many many uses of blueprint actors this is like the most basic things you know even doors are blueprint actors so yeah almost everything in the game is actually a blueprint actor now that we have covered the basics of blueprint actors we do have like lots of stuff to still cover but we are going to be doing that later so in the next part we are going to be covering how to do your code in the event graph how to get started we're going to start with a very very basic line of code and yeah do look forward to that do not forget to leave a like and subscribe if you are new to the channel i will see you in the next part take care have a great day and bye